Um, so I don't feel any pain. Uh, hopefully it stays like that uh, also for the future. Yeah, it's the worst thing what, what can happen actually to you. Um, to be injured, to, to be not allowed to have the team even if you want and you are watching from the television or from the, from the stands. So hopefully never comes again. But um, as you know, as a professional football player, it can come all the time. So that's why we have to take care of ourselves and um, yeah, then we will be ready for every game. You've still got three more trophies to go for as well. In particular, how does it feel to be involved in a title race at the moment that is so tight between three teams in your first season in English football? No, it's, um, it's a good feeling. Um, we won already one. Um, we have three more left. I said it before, um, me personally, I want to I wanna win all three. Actually, all four. Um, but yeah, we have to we have to we have to look game by game. So we cannot look uh, that far um, to the end of the season because it's long, long way to go. It's uh, a lot of games. Um, so yeah, Europe League, FA Cup on Sunday, uh, and then after national team break, the the Premier League starts again. So yeah, but I think we are ready. How do you rate your chances of winning all four, giving the manager the perfect send-off? And how do you feel about the manager going at the end of the season? Um, I think we have a, we have a quite good chance. Um, but even, I think everybody thinks like this, if you ask the City players, they would think they have a good chance. If you ask the Arsenal players, they would say they have a good chance. So me, I think we have a good chance, um, but we have to work for it. So it is not coming like uh, from the air and jumping in your Hence uh, the title. You have to you have to work uh, every game. Um, you have to give your best. Um, doesn't matter who is in the first eleven. Doesn't matter who comes uh, on from the bench. We we are a team and we are ready to fight for each other. And um, yeah, about the about the Gaffa um, end of the season. Of course, everybody is everybody is looking only for the games and we are not thinking about that uh, what's happening end of the season we can talk about this end of the season Carlos. Hi, um, your first season at Liverpool um, there's been lots of injuries as well how difficult has it been to get used to different combinations in that midfield as the season has gone on has it been difficult yeah it's never easy to come in the new new league in a new team with the new players but um, I think we showed that um, that as a team we can reach almost everything not yet but we are on it and yeah we had completely new midfield so with Maka with Endo with Ryan uh, with me but I think we showed we showed quite good up like we are ready to to show us also in the Premier League and there's been a lot of younger players been playing on the side with the injuries as well. You're only 23, but you're captain of your country and you've got a lot of experience on it. So do you kind of pass on that experience to the younger players as well? I think I'm not old, hopefully. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I have, I have quite a lot of experience for my age and also, um, yeah, I'm captain of my national team, but um, Still, I have the, the young guys um, as much as I can. If they have any question, they come to us. But probably, if you ask them, I will be not the first one who, come, who they come to because we have older guys and also with more experience in the team like, uh, like Verge, uh, Mo, or, or this uh, type of players. But if they come to me, I will, I will give the, the best advice what I have. Exactly the same. Um, yeah, when I when I moved here, I had an expectation, of course, how everything works. Um, but actually, it works even better. <laughs> so yeah. Has anything, has anything surprised you at all about it? Not really. Um, I I had um, 
I had a player from national team, Peter Gulacci, who played here before, and um, he had talked to me uh, about the things here, how it works, what is different to here, to Germany, to Austria, and um, so I could prepare myself actually how it's gonna how it's gonna work, and um, yeah, so I'm just happy to be here, and um, hopefully many more years. Carl. You spoke about your injury and the disappointment of missing the finals. When you, when you come back, do you use that frustration as, as extra motivation for, for missing out on two months of the season and you've got two months to go? It's not easy to come back because, as you see, every player who got injured, we have to build up ourselves in a games as well. So it's not that from zero to you go to 100. You have steps to to get over it, and this is not the easiest one. When you are ready, you feel you are ready to play, and you still get only 15 minutes chance to play, or the next game uh, 40, and the next game 60, and then maybe you can get to 90. So this is a build up. What as a player hard to understand, but um, we have to accept it because our body is the the main thing what we use in the game. So we have to take care of it. Are you still building up to what would be, I guess, your best form that you showed at the start of the season? You still got to get to that, that, that level, do you think? Yeah, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. Just the back. Hi, Donna. Um, when the Scott Wendell arrived, I thought not too many people would hear him, but you obviously played against him in Germany. He's impressive a lot now. So what is it about him playing against him that makes him so difficult? And how impressed have you been playing alongside him? Yeah, I played against him when he was at uh, when he was at Stuttgart, and um, he's a player like he's everywhere. It feels you, it feels like you passed him, and then you turn around, he's already there. So I can understand why the why the people are thinking like, how is he there exactly when I just passed him? But um, yeah, I'm happy to to have him in my team. How many times do you think it was good sign? Well, it's not my decision to decide is a good sign or not. Of course, we are. He shows that uh, he's important for the team. This is the most important. So you have to ask the the Gaffa it was it, if it was a good sign or not. Last one, then. Uh, hi, Dominic. Uh, you have had a pretty strange start since you came to Liverpool, but the last couple of months, because of the injury, has been forgetful in a way. So how do you plan to? Or how do you wish to end the season on a high, especially with Klopp leaving, and like how do you make plan to make the most of the remaining few months with Klopp? Well, um, maybe it's not because of my injury. Also, we can say because of my injury, but it happens also that um, you have you have really good games, you have less good games, you have a bad game. Um, we are also not perfect. Um, I think none of us had. A, all the games uh, showed their self 100% what um, what he can really do it. But especially my side, um, I'm every day working on it to get uh, my best shape. Probably if you think the best shape was the beginning of the season, it wasn't. So I can be even better. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.